Peru News Today, all you need to know about Peru. Alejandro Toledo, prosecutor's office begins the process of loss of domain against his assets. The 6th Provincial Provincial Prosecutor's Office for the Extinction of Dominion of Lima initiated a process of loss of domain over the real estate of former President Alejandro Toledo, who is followed by two judicial processes for alleged corruption in the Odebrecht and Ecativa cases. Loss of ownership is the mechanism that allows the state to pursue the assets that an investigated party acquired with illicit funds. It is processed through the judicial channel separately from the processes or eventual convictions. Therefore, the prosecutor of the Lava Jado team, Jose Domingo Perez, and the Supreme Court of Justice were notified in order to receive information on the investigation and extradition processes of Toledo and his wife Elian Carp. Alejandro Toledo on whom a United States extradition process is weighing, left the McGuire, California, correctional facility last Friday, after the federal judge of the Northern California State Court, Thomas S. Hickson, accepted the request of the former president of release on bail, at the risk of contracting coronavirus. Asked about the investigation into loss of domain, the lawyer Roberto Sue, the legal defense of Toledo Manrique and Carp de Toledo, maintained that they have not been notified so far but that they have learned of this new investigation. What we know is that a file is being created in which the assets of Mr. Toledo are to be affected. But two of them, Las Casarinas and Torre Omega, are already affected, so possibly they want to make the official transfer of these in the name of the state, because Joseph Maiman has recognized that he was given the illicit money, and that with that's what he bought the Casarinas house, he said. In the case of the Punta Sal, Tums, and Camacho assets, Sue Rebetineris said that the money was loaned by Maiman, and that, with this, part of the mortgage on both properties was paid. Therefore, he indicated, the prosecution would seek to affect the percentage of each of these houses. But it must be taken into account that, as long as the criminal responsibility of Toledo and Carp is not established, the assets cannot be affected. In addition, it must be taken into account that the loan of money was received without knowing the origin of that money, which was made seven or eight years later, when Odebrecht was not known, said the lawyer. All properties are under the temporary administration of the National Seized Assets Program, Pranabi, attached to the Ministry of Justice. However, this measure is provisional until the judicial process against Toledo Manrique and others is concluded. There are four real estate properties linked to the former presidential president and were seized by the public ministry after the investigations against Toledo began in January 2017. It is a house on Cascajal de la Molina Street, a beach house in Tums, a set of offices and warehouses in the Omega Tower, Circo, and part of Camacho's house. All this valued at approximately 714 million souls. In October 2017, the National Seized Assets Program, Pranabi, reported that it will use the property seized from Toledo as part of the criminal proceeding that is being followed for the crime of money laundering. Visit at www.perunustoday.com. Also follow O on Facebook and Twitter.